Special event today, reopening of Amoeba Records. Exotica. Uh, see, I say at least an hour, hour and a half. Three. Well, my Maybe friend two. here thinks it's three hours. Three hours. Yeah. What's uh, for two hours? Here on El Centro. Used to be a cool bar down here called El Centro Bar. Had a lot of fans. Really cool. Missed that park. I think it's empty now because of COVID. Got some cars checking out the line. It's getting warm here in LA. It's like way so too taking shirts and holding nice. shirts. Oh, so far. Two minutes. We've moved a couple feet. I think the new one. Maybe it will be on TV. No, the new is that the real story? Yeah, go ahead. You want the reality? Is this the The original line in Argyle to Sunset. Okay, I heard that on the post. So I got there at 9 a.m. It was roughly a couple hundred feet from Sunset. Right about the numbers. Right parking lot. It's a great a bit further forward, I'm a little more confident. <clears throat> but just so you guys know, there's no guarantee of this. this uh, I'm going to tell you is that I got started at 9 a.m. Yeah. Okay. I got into the building at probably 1.30. Right. I'm going to take. We're going to work. I'm 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 going to work. And that's the bottleneck. It's, 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 it was just most of the people so in the store standing. So you guys are all in kind of a little bit of a gray area right now. We think that you're in. Uh, anybody pass come back out, I'll mark you guys as kind of my marker, is uh, likely not in. We think we've got, we had half a day to figure out how many we could do, and it looks like everybody here is It's a possibility to be going in, okay. but be coming back to vlog for you, surely. So that's, yeah. that's my story. Anyway, yeah, so it, it's, it was comfortable. I mean, there's a lot, the stores are good, nice layouts and everything. My section, Jazz and Blues and Roots was uh, kind of thrown in the corner and diminished quite a bit. It's all right. Uh, deprived of Amoeba for <laughs> For a million years already. And that, that feels like. Good job putting yeah. everything together. And right. You got all your all the vinyl and collectibles and each post had them in their CDs or everything's there. It's good stuff. But, you know, within reason. I like the uh, vintage original vinyl. <laughs> Pressings and a lot of them for the new ones. That's they haven't taken input for a year. You know? Let this mellow out for a couple of weeks. You know? Thank you, sir. What's your name? Larry. Larry. Fellow citizen. Yeah. Yeah, so I got my waiting with me. They picked me up, drove us down here. We'll see how it goes. Move probably five, six feet. That's it. I haven't even made the corner yet, the street, so we'll see. Been in line for like at least five minutes, right? So really, you had to wake up early for a special event like this, or anything, rather, and be there early. My handy dandy GoPro right here. Or no, no more movements. The cashier is to buy anything purchased at 7 p.m. tonight, or every night because of COVID. Uh, store hours are until eight, so that's what I've heard. Who remembers going to uh, Tower Record? I remember going to Tower Record Center and the one near me where I grew up in Torrance. Great store. One of the places I escaped in, in like, from, from home or from school to go, it's like another world. I was never really a fan of malls, so record store was my go-to. You know, all stores are different. They price stuff differently. That's what I like about in the valley, the like record store, you know, not just like one, you know. <laughs> hey. Hi. So if we don't make it in, we'll come back another day when it's slower yeah. here. Oh yeah, I never yeah. go to anything on opening night. Yeah. It's crazy. All right. So here's a look at the lines across the street. 
Okay, guys, we're gonna check out how little blue orange and see what's going on down there. That Morano World wants to come to this store. It's in Hollywood too. The uh, location is in San Francisco. They got two locations down there. One by the university. And I could not remember the other location. But anyways, we're here on the Walk of Fame. Let's see. Hollywood Walk of Fame. You got those things, but they're they're good to look at. There's a store there. People are also waiting in line. Now that's crazy. That's the Amoeba opening. But we're gonna across the street congratulating the reopening of Amoeba Records. It's the famous Pendagious Theater where they have a lot of musicals. Let me try to rotate this camera so you get to see. I don't know why it's so blurry, but across the street, Pantages Theater. I think I know. Guardian Angel. Most of you younger people who are Guardian Angels are. They don't around as often anymore when I used to live here. So what guardian angels are if you're at risk of like endangerment or you make sure you're safe. That's my goal. So all good, hydrated with some iced tea. Yeah, so if we don't make it in, it'll be another day here. So. Guarantee you guys we're gonna have another day here. All these beautiful people waiting in line in case the patient <laughs> getting into the record store. Ah, I'm gonna sit down for a second. I try to come here at least once a week, once a month. Because I have friends that still live here and work here. So I come to visit them, see how they are. You know, of course, social distance. Outside of their apartment or their work. Yeah. But other than that, there's not much going on. It's just like records. You know, there's another one, the record parlor. They don't want you to bring that heavy, big, bulky stuff into the store for security check. They don't want to do security check when you go in. I, I'm normally like if you see me vlog yeah, on my feature one or my the one previous vlogs live streams, you see me with my gray background with all my camera yeah. stuff. Everett small back, which has still on Selma made a dramatic turn from El Centro. I was on Holly Wilbur in front of the store. They were letting a lot of people out. Hollywood sky here. All these brand new high rises condos building up here. Yeah, 
already seems like you can't even see the Hollywood sign anymore. With all these tall buildings. I still remember the day when I used to live here and you could see it from here. The Hollywood sign. I don't think there's any special know, perks for getting in early, but it's just you got in. So we're in between the store. So it's uh, one side is El Central and one side is is Argyle and then Hollywood Boulevard. So on Hollywood Boulevard you can get into the main entrance of the store. Or I think it's the only entrance to the store. I'm not quite sure. But the last location had a basement where the parking structure guided you up on the stairs or elevator. And then the main entrance from, from Sunset. This one's on Hollywood. It's a good sign we're moving a little bit. Happy April Fool's. So the line's moving. Alright, so here's the dilemma. Do you wait or not and see if people will leave? Okay. Yeah. Halfway there. Halfway there. Uh, the big line is back. We gotta wait just for a while, but it's returned. Copy. I'm back here, Jamitha. Tailwind. You say it's gonna be like this throughout the whole weekend? It's going to be. It's yeah, new. <laughs> yeah. Probably like, probably like next week. But it'll... Well, it's also yeah, it's, it's yeah. also spring break too. So. Yeah. Sure. Appreciate it. Have a good one. All right, we passed this parking uh, structure's uh, driveway. It's a step forward. Yeah, but by the time we get there, we might not be able to. It's all good. There's these three experience at line, right? Yeah, it's just for today. exactly the same as the other one, but without the upstairs. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, well they you saw the inside? Yeah, because you can look through the window. Well, yeah. well someone sent me uh, uh, like a blueprint of the uh -huh. layout. He's like, downstairs is all the vinyls. Oh, they have it downstairs? It's not really downstairs, it's just like a couple steps. And oh. It's like down there. Yeah. Wow. And then the, the ground level CDs, DVDs. if you take the, the metro system out to Amiibo instead of uh, paying for parking. you're going to get some angry people not getting in but I'm, I'm willing to wait I, I just find to you guys to see like like the give backs and the prices and whatever they're giving out on the special day that's the whole reason for 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 this uh IRL vlog anyways you're going to get someone that's uh, not not very happy he did come out and say stuff that this uh, staff member anyways Thanks for experiencing this uh, standing in line for this major event today. Uh, the reopened and new location of Amoeba Record Stores in Hollywood. Uh, right on uh, El Central and, and Argyle, uh, close to the W Hotel on Vaughn. So this is the brand new location. Resembles a lot like the Sunset location. There's some cool posters and frames right here, looking through the window. Low brow artwork. Cool one, Hot Wheels. But I think they closed. Will be another day, another adventure. Uh, 
waiting for people to come out? They're only oh. letting people come out. Oh, only letting people come out. So yeah, so it looks like they're only letting people uh, leave the store and not letting any more customers in. I think that's it.